recapture the spirit of evangelization. What, what, what are we going to recapture, reactivate? Nothing else but God's story of love. Na, sa, sa terminology ni Francis is mercy and compassion. So, kumbaga, ang ating program content sa catechesis, religious education, should only be this. Lahat ng mga doctrines, moral worship natin, should end up making the students realize the story of God's love. Kahit na hindi nila ma-memorize ang Ten Commandments, pero memoryado nila, for God so loved the world, that is saying so. <laughs> Ma-memorize nila yun. So, maano, may yun na mais sa loob nila. Diba? Ito nyo. Kasi sa noon, sabi nila, may panahon na ang mga protestante ang galing-galing mag-memorize ng Bible quotes. While the... The Catholics are memorizing the catechism question and answer. Eh, wala na ngayon catechism question and answer. So, oh, ano ngayon dapat ang ng katoliko? Bible na dapat, di ba? But, but no, this is just a, uh, what they call this, uh, by way of, uh, pero importante talaga, no, whatever our program is, yan, ang ating uh, point of, uh, kaya, uh, the, from Pirabban, the main turning point of evangelization in the 21st century will be this. It will depend less on the proclamation of truths than on our ability to turn ourselves toward others. In conversation with others, communion with others, the gospel will appear. So this is, I was, uh, sa kanya, the truths, no? Hindi, ngayon, lalo na ngayon. May internet eh. So yung mga maliliit na tanong tungkol sa pananampalata o sa practices ng mga simbahan, ganyan, hindi nyo kailangan pamemorize sa mga bata yan. Ang pahalaga, mahalaga si Jesus sa buhay nila. Pag yun talaga nakuha ng mga bata, pag may tanong sila, alam nila po sa internet. Kasi mahalaga malaman ko to dahil kaibigan ko si Jesus para maliwanag. Hindi sila pumunta sa internet tungkol sa faith. Tungkol sa pananampalataya. Bakit? Eh, hindi mahalaga sa kanila pananampalataya. Eh. Hindi mahalaga si Kristo sa kanila. Eh. Hanggang sila'y nag-aaral, okay. E eh, nung wala sila nag-aaral. <coughs> hindi, na, eh, hindi naman na isa loob. O di iniwan sa eskwela. And this is our situation. This is and if we cannot, if we don't change this situation, we will see the, the fading away of this ministry. As you seen it in Europe, United States, in this secularized country. So ngayon, ngayon sabi natin, we learn from them. So ano yung kanilang mistakes? Iwasan natin. Ang kanila, isa sa mga mistake na ano, the faith was understood but not valued. Such that when the onslaught of secularism came, different set of values, they could not defend the gospel values. Kaya ito yung sinasabi sa inyo evangelization. Huwag na tayo magparami pa ng kung ano-ano gagawin natin, kundi just go back and recapture the most, the most significant, important uh, truths, no? That was the main, were mainstay of the, uh, what you call this, of the uh, Christian faith. Okay. I end here. Kasi pag sino mo lang patutuloy-tuloy na ito, mami, ang hapon na lang tayo. No? Okay? Sige. Have a good day. Have a good day. Sino, may prayer leader ba dito? Wala. Sis, all, mga madres, mga Queen of Heaven, rejoice, hallelujah. Let us all stand. Holy Spirit, amen. Hallelujah. 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 Rejoice and be glad, Virgin Mary, hallelujah.